How many of you people out there that 3D print, try to get a build plate or a plate to print on, and there's so many of them out there, you have no clue which one to pick? Because I know I'm into 3D printing, and I know quite a bit about this stuff, I think, and I kind of get confused sometimes looking at all the build plates. But today we're looking at all of the West 3D build plates and everything they have to offer. So we have all of their plates here. We're gonna look at each one, what each one looks like, feels like, smells like, and how they print and see what the print looks like when it's completed. So we're gonna go over all these and maybe give you a better idea of which one you might want or which one you need. So let's take a look at the very first one and that's gonna be the one I use the most. It's gonna be the West 3D textured plate, high performance black. This one right here is textured on both sides. Really love this plate. This one has a logo on it. You can get it with or without that. If you look at it and feel it, it's uh, the texture doesn't stick up real high. It's got a high gloss kind of coating to the texture and it makes for a really good first layer. So looking at the listing for this one is a high performance black PEI plate. This one goes from 500 millimeters all the way down to 125. These are actually all slightly oversized by five millimeters, like the 350 is actually 355. You can also choose if you want a logo or no logo and a few different combinations of smooth or textured. Uh, look at the image, it's about the same as what we're looking at. These plates are great for printing ASA, PLA, things like that, even some other types of filament, but it is one that I use to print ASA on all my machines. So most of them have this plate in it, if not, I'll show you some other plates that we do use. So there's that one. This next one here, I'm really not gonna go too much over it, but it's the same thing, but it's got smooth on the other side. So the smooth on these is really cool. It's a lot different than some of the other smooth plates that I've seen. It's got a very matte look to it. Also, as you can see, I've got my greasy fingerprints all over this. You don't wanna do this when you're messing with your plates. You wanna wash these things with some dish soap or some degreaser and hot water and not get your fingers all over them here like I have. But I'm trying to show these to you, just wanted to point that out. And we are looking at the same listing, except this is just a smooth option. So you would just select down here that you wanted one side smooth or both sides smooth or however you wanted it. Now that's the West 3D high performance black plates. I will show you what it looks like to print something on this smooth side and the textured side and what that part looks like shortly. The next one I have here is West 3D's Ultra Rugged. This one here is just, it's gonna be thicker and a little stronger and more durable than your other sheets. This has nothing on this side, it's just spring steel and then PEI on the other side, it's smooth PEI. We will print something on this, but it's gonna be like a standard smooth PEI sheet. The other side, we're not gonna print anything on that. You can actually, a lot of people don't know this, you can put blue painter's tape or something on this or captain tape and use something like a, just a piece of steel to print on. So you don't have to print on things like this, but when you're starting to print ASA and, and polycarbonate or some different engineering blends, you're gonna wanna use certain types of plates. This goes from 125, and then you've got the 255, 305, and 355s, and it only comes single side smooth, that's it, and that's the one we have here. It's got a description here that shows it is a little bit thicker, and that's about it on this one. Next up, we have the super stick plate. This thing here is almost magical. I don't know what kind of secret sauce was put into this plate, but it works insanely well. This smooth side is the super stick side. This can only be purchased with textured on this side and smooth on the other. So this one is a lot stronger when it comes to holding things to the bed. So you really almost have to put a separation layer here um, or it can pull the actual bed off of this plate and you don't want that. So you gotta be careful when printing on this thing, but it's great for printing some of your engineering filaments that like to warp and like to come up off the bed like that. You can kind of see that it's very glossy. It's, it's almost like a, a sticky, not really like sticky, but rubbery type feel to it compared to something like this. You can see it's regular PEI. It doesn't have that gloss shine to it like this one does. Whatever that is that makes this thing stick really well when it heats up, it softens a little bit, I believe, and grabs a hold of that 
part and doesn't let go, which is great, but you do want it to let go once it cools off. So you, that's something you have to be careful with. This one, you can only get it in the double sides super stick on one side, texture on the other. It comes in three sizes, 255, 305, and 355. And that is what we just showed you. It will come with a film on it. I already peeled mine off. And that's about it for that one. And I will print something on both sides of this just to give you a feel of what those bottoms would look like too. And see if I can show you how well it sticks. I don't know if I'm able to get that on camera or not. On to the next one. Now we have the carbon fiber sheet. This one has carbon fiber on this side and the other side is smooth PEI, the high performance one we showed a minute ago. This is the same on this side. This one is really cool. Uh, it makes for a really neat la first layer that you can see the, the texture of the carbon fiber on that first layer. It also is great for high temps, you know, ASA or even some polycarbonate and things like that. It can get really hot and it still be okay. Listing the adhesive is a 468 MP 200 MP adhesive which is rated for 240C for short periods and 148 over long term, which basically means it's pretty hot because we usually print these with the plates sitting, you know, 100 to 115C, something like that. But when you start getting into engineering filaments, you may need to bring that up some. Here you can see the carbon fiber on this thing. I can't get it or move it away too much farther because my camera starts going wonky with this pattern. But yeah, it makes uh, that really neat pattern for your first layer, which I will show that printed in a moment. Once we get through the rest of these plates here, I'll load them all up and show you what it looks like to print something on them. And then we got the PEO and black on the other side. This side here is really better for like PLA, TPU, uh, PTG, things like that. Everything up before this is you can use for either an ABS, ASA and some other things like uh, polycarbonate as well, especially stuff like the super stick or something like that is great for those kinds of filaments. This side is just gonna be a smooth PEI, the same as we showed before. And this side over here is the fancy one. It's gonna be triangles kind of, um, really cool pattern. You don't wanna do ABS in ASA really on this. It's recommended to be printed with PLA and uh, PETG and TPU, lower temperature filaments. And this one here comes in four sizes. It's got 125, 255, 305, and 355. One thing that I have not mentioned as of yet is I am going to take this here, which is a USB digital microscope. It goes up to 1000X, and I'm gonna get a view of each one of these, the textured, more of the textured ones than anything, and see what it looks like up close. And you can actually kind of tell what that looks like. You know, you can't really see it in these videos and images I'm showing you, but this is actually pretty neat. The images you're gonna see from this are really cool. And finally, we have the Gerlite FR4. This is one of the newer plates. It's actually spring steel on this side, nothing on one side. And this side is the FR4 Gerlite surface. It's attached to this plate, which is kind of thicker than normal, I believe. But this one is great. It's actually a fire resistant composite material. Um, it heats up and cools off very easily. It's great for any kinds of filaments, really. ABS, ASA, uh, polycarbonate even, uh, PLA, you can use it for any of that. It will print on like a smooth surface. So your prints will come out looking smooth here. It's gonna look like kind of you printed on a PEI smooth sheet or something like that. It's just gonna have a different effect. You can kind of see like lines in this maybe, but I think that's just the way the composite material is. So this is supposed to cool off a lot better and your parts come off easier and it's supposed to attach and stick really good. Now the listing for this one, this one comes in 125, 165, 185, 255, 305, and 355. I actually had to get the 300 on this. All the rest of these plates I've got were 350. So I'll have to print this on a different machine, but they was just out of stock of this one right now. So I grabbed the 300. Now it does say these use 0.5 millimeter thick FR4. It's attached to a flex plate that is more than 60% thicker than industry standards. This thing will not wear out quick. Great substitute for PEI and just kind of come into the 3D printing scene kind of recently. It's not been something that's been used very much. But now we're going to take a quick look at every single one of these plates under a digital USB microscope that I've had sitting in my drawer for probably a year. And it actually does a pretty good job. So let's take a look at it. Now this here is a close-up view of the PEO sheet that we just showed. Really neat to show this image here. You can actually see 
the little lines I was talking about and the in-between little sections are what you see as like a triangle shape and things like that. Really cool to look at that. Now this one here is pretty neat to look at. This is the FR4 Garolite surface. You can see it looked like it was completely smooth and it feels that way, but looking at it zoomed in here, you can see the lines I was speaking of. You can kind of see that in certain lights, but you can also see that it doesn't appear completely smooth. It's a composite material there and it looks like there's kind of some specks and some uh, gaps there. And we'll show you what that looks like on the first layer once we print that. This one here is a standard energetic type gold textured build plate. This one looks pretty neat up close actually. It looks like something that it's not, but you can actually see the, the black and kind of areas there that's raised up and the other areas are the lower parts that actually stick to and actually gives it that, that different texture. It's all randomized on this as well. This here is a smooth PEI sheet. That's gonna be pretty much what it looks like on every smooth PEI sheet. It's just a layer of film, which is PEI stuck to the spring steel sheet, but this is what that looks like. It kind of doesn't look smooth either. Um, it has some little bumps or ridges there throughout the surface and it doesn't look completely smooth, but it sure does look like that when you're printing on it. So that's the smooth PEI gold sheet. Now here we have Westerly's high performance black textured sheet. This one was probably the coolest looking one of all. It actually, you can see how much texture is in there and it looks kind of glossy or like, a, like almost like liquid glass has hardened over the top of that. And you can see underneath it, the PI on the bottom there. These make for a really good surface and they stick extremely well. And when they cool off, they come off the build plate pretty good. And that is why these are my favorite of all the build plates. Now this is the other side of the sheet and also the same one that's used for all the black high performance PI sheets that are smooth. This is the smooth side of that. You can see here, it's much smoother than the gold PEI sheets uh, for some reason. It is more of a matte feel to it. It's not shiny like the others, but here you can kind of see what that surface looks like and why we get a little bit more of a smooth surface on our printed parts coming off these sheets. And can anyone guess what this one is? That's right, it's the carbon fiber one. You can see it's got the little squares and the patterns run in different directions like carbon fiber is known for doing there. And you can see it looks kind of rough and when you print on this one, that's the pattern that you will get in the bottom of your part. And this one here is the super stick plate. I'm not really sure on this one, you can see it. It looks like it has lines running in both directions, which is kind of strange. And it's got a little bit of bumpiness to it, but it is very smooth to the touch. And it does feel kind of rubbery, but it looks kind of neat here, uh, seeing a zoomed up view of this as well. And for the moment we've all been waiting for, I'm gonna load up all these printers back here with all these different kinds of plates and we're gonna print the same thing on every single one. I'm gonna print a bamboo scraper. And what that is is just a little plastic scraper and the bamboos come with these little razors and you can take the razor and put it on there and make a scraper to scrape off the plate when you get things that are stuck to the build plate. So at least I'm printing something that I'm gonna use. I don't like printing things that I'm not gonna use. I've mentioned that before. So let's load them up here and get some stuff printed on it and see how it turns out. So here we have all eight of the parts that we just printed back there on eight different plates. So I'll show you what it looks like up close and I also got a very up close image with that same microscope that we used on the plates of all of these parts. So we'll take a look at both of those. And going across starting right here, this is gonna be the Garolite plate. The next one over is the PEO. This one did warp a little bit on the edges and I did print all these in the same exact material. They're all printed in Ambrosia ASA. Next one up is Black Smooth PEI. This one I showed multiple times in some of the plates. Next one is a regular PEI. One after that we have is Carbon Fiber. This one here is our standard boron-like textured plate. This is the plate that you get with when you buy a FormBot kit or uh, the LDO kit. They come with that you know, standard textured gold build plate. 
Next one up is the Westerly black texture plate. You can see the texture is a little bit shinier here on this one. And the last one here is the super stick plate. This one is the shiniest of every single one of them and the, probably the smoothest besides than this one over here that was the black smooth PEI sheet. I tried to get a good up close shot of all of these the best that I could. I hope it helps you decide which one of these plates you need or you want for your projects out there. So if you want any up close better pictures of this, join our Discord. I link the description of that in this video here. Join in there. We also do live streams every Saturday, 12 p.m. Eastern time and on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you all out there for watching this video. Like, subscribe, share this video for us. I will see you all on the next one. Have a good week.